booktube my name is elizabeth and welcome to the owl read today i'm going to be doing my friday reads i have been in just a super slumpy mood and it's not really because of books or anything it's more like my mental health i just haven't been 100 percent the last couple of weeks but i'm feeling a lot better i feel like i'm reading i finally finished a book last night if you want to hear more about that make sure you come back on sunday for my weekly wrap up but right now i'm going to tell you what i plan on reading this weekend I am currently reading Rebel of the Sands by Ellen Hamilton, and I'm, I literally just started this last night, so I'm only like 33 pages in, um, but I'm enjoying it a lot more than I thought I was going to. I was worried because I heard it was more of like a Western fantasy and not like a Middle Eastern desert fantasy, um, but I really feel bits of both and I don't know I'm, I'm ho I hope that I enjoy this and I hope that I can finish it actually today because I really really need to catch up on my reading goal for Goodreads I just really want to get more books in this year and with the last couple of weeks how much I've been slumping I just haven't been able to do it so I'm enjoying this so far and I hope I can finish it this weekend when I finish Rebel of the Sands, I'm going to pick up The Sleeping Prince by Melinda Salisbury. This is the sequel to The Sin Eater's Daughter. Um, we are actually reading this, Chloe and I are reading this for the Once Upon a Read Along that we do every month. Um, our, our live show is going to be August... I want to say August 5th, but it's going to be the third, the first Sunday in August, so just a couple of weeks away. And this is our July book, so I need to get it read. Um, I completely and totally forgot what happened in The Sin Eater's Daughter, so I need kind of a refresher because I got that as a review book back in February of 2015, so it's been far too long, and I don't really remember a lot that happened. I do know it's about this girl named Twilia who, um, if she touches somebody, they are killed, basically, and she is the daughter of a sin eater, which basically eats the sins of those who have passed in the form of, like, food. So I think, like, a crow represents uh, murder. If you've murdered somebody, then the sin eater must eat a crow um, on top of your coffin. Really, really gruesome type of religious system, but I loved it because it was so different and intense and unique and I just really really enjoyed it. I remember absolutely loving The Senator's Daughter. Chloe has actually read both The Senator's Daughter and The Sleeping Prince already this month and she did not like it. So I based on my love of the senior's daughter i'm hoping to really enjoy the sleeping prince so i'm assuming that we're going to have very opposite views on this so the live show should be very interesting and i'm really excited to read this and if i can get done with the sleeping prince this weekend i'm going to start the court of mist and fury by sarah j moss i read a court of thorns and roses earlier this year and it was uh, freaking amazing so I'm super super excited to pick this up and finally figure out what's going on with our main characters if you're not familiar A Court of Thorns and Roses is about a girl who accidentally murders a fae who is disguised as a wolf in like the human realm and in order to pay for that uh, fae life that she has taken she's taken it to the fae world to kind of like serve out a life sentence to pay for that life that she's taken, sort of, and it's a Beauty and the Beast retelling, and I heard that this is a Hades and Persephone retelling, and I just love Greek mythology, so I'm super excited to see what happens with this story, and a lot of people, like, the love interest in A Court of Thorns and Roses is, like, bae for me right now, and everyone's like, no, the second book, you're totally going to switch to this other love interest, and I just don't know how my heart can be torn between two different people and I don't know how I'm going to react. So I'm really excited to see my thoughts on this one. Alright guys, I know everyone is participating in the Booktubeathon this week and I'm really really sad that I just wasn't able to commit myself to participating this time around. I was just like I said, in a very bad place mentally, and now that I feel better, I'm like, oh, maybe I should participate, but I just don't have a TBR planned, or the video challenges, or reading challenges, or any of that planned, so I'm just not going to participate this week, unfortunately, but for all of you guys who are participating, good luck. It looks like you're having so much fun. I love watching your challenge videos, and I'm just living vicariously through you guys. Tell me down below what you guys are reading this weekend, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!